Hey guys, I'm back with another MAC haul. Um, this is the new collection MAC fashion sets. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty big collection and I don't even have anywhere near all of it. Um, they came out with nail polishes. Um, basically, basically they took their um, permanent collections, their favorites, and they made glosses and matching nail polishes to go with it. So this is what I got. My little display over here. <laughs> I didn't get a polish to go with all of them. Simply because, I mean, their polishes are really expensive for the quality. But there were two that I had to have. Okay, so I'm just going to... Okay. So, I'm not going to swatch the lipsticks simply because they're all permanent and I'm sure everyone's seen what they look like. Um, but I got Saint Germain, um, Pink Nouveau, Russian Red, Rebel, Girl About Town, Chestnut, and Spice. So. And I also have um, Mirage. Um, coming in the mail, so, but we're not going to see that one in this collection. Okay, so the first two up are Saint Germain. Saint Germain, I don't know if it'll focus, we'll see. Sometimes I do this and it doesn't focus, sometimes it does, so we'll see how that comes out. Now, I think that the gloss for Saint Germain is a really accurate depiction of the lipstick. So that is the gloss right there. And actually I think I am going to do swatches of the lipstick next to it just for comparison. Okay, so that is St. Germain Lipstick and Lip Gloss. Next up is... What? what was, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I heard something in the background. <laughs> Rebel. And don't mind my nails. These are actually swatches. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So that is Rebel. Okay. Now, here's the disappointing thing about Rebel. I was planning on getting the um, the nail lacquer for Rebel. And I was like, man, that's just a really pretty color. Again, this is Rebel. But here's the thing, the nail polish for Rebel, it, it does not, it, it, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to show you the swatch of Rebel, that is Rebel, and the gloss is actually a lot closer, I mean, actually, this is, that's a fair depiction. I think swatched on the lips, it looks a lot more matching. On my hand, it's not really showing up quite so matchy. Here's the thing about Rebel. Okay, you see how it looks in the tube. This is Rebel on my finger. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I just swatched the tip of my finger, but you see how close those two match? At least in my opinion. But then when you put the lipstick on, on you, if you have Rebel um, lipstick already, you know that when you put it on your lips, it's more of a burgundy than a deep purple. So to me, this nail polish does not match the actual lipstick. I mean, maybe the gloss, but for $16 on a not so great, I mean, the quality of the, of the nail polish is not bad, but for $16, it's not perfect. So, because of the purpose of this collection is to match, I skipped on Rebel Nail Polish because um, it just, I can, I can dupe that. I mean, I can go to OPI and dupe that, so I just skipped on that. But I do love the lip gloss, and I do love this. 
I'm actually wearing Saint Germain right now. Um, I have Pink Nouveau on my lips, but Saint Germain lip gloss with um, Night Moth liner. And the only reason I did that is because I have Pink Nouveau already, which I guess I'll show you now. But um, the gloss is not going to come in until sometime into this week. But this is Pink Nouveau. Oh, my pretty tube. Okay, this is Pink Nouveau. Focus. It doesn't want to focus. Mm. Okay, well, Pink Nouveau. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Now again, I already own the lipstick, which is why I'm going to swatch it because it is coming out with the collection. But I do not have the gloss just yet. So, I guess I'll just swatch it down here. Pink Nouveau right there. And you can tell, you know, it is a deeper pink than the Saint Germain, which sometimes comes off a bit more of a white baby pink color, like a powdery color. Well, not powdery, but... And again, on my lips, I have Pink Nouveau lipstick and Saint Germain lip glass with Night Moth liner. Um, next up are my... These last four are probably my favorites. Um, I'm going to show you Spice. I have the lip gloss and lipstick. That is Spice. Very pretty. Very pretty. I think this color will work on any skin tone as a nude. Um, it's like a neutral beige with to me a rosy undertone to it or, or a hint of rose to it. Um, I'm not quite sure the description on the website but that's just my description. Spice. I love 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 this. It is a perfect nude and if you are um, you know closer to my skin complexion as well and you're thinking mm, I don't know how it would look let me just tell you I'm getting it back up. I don't have a backup of any lipstick, um, and I'm getting a backup of the Spice lipstick and lip gloss. So let me just swatch that. And this can go on sheer, or it can go on really pigmented. Um, it just depends on how heavily you apply it. It's not a sheer lipstick, but if you want a light application, you know. Because, you know, some lipsticks you can put on lightly and it still is just way too much. So, that is Spice, ooh, Spice Lip Gloss and Lipstick. Beautiful color. And I also, um, I don't have too many liners, so I went ahead and got Spice Lip Liner to go with it. This, um, is permanent. Uh, will you focus? I don't know. Let's see. This is permanent and is not coming out with the collection, but I had to get it and I'll swatch it just because they do have the matching. Okay. So this is the Spice Liner, which again is not being launched with this collection. It is permanent, although Spice Lip Gloss and Lipstick is limited edition. And all of these glosses are limited edition, and all of the nail polishes are limited edition, except for Russian Red, which I do have. But that was Spice. Next up is Chestnut, which is also limited edition, both the lipstick and the lip glass. Oh, maybe I should show you first, huh? <laughs> you know, it's been a long day. I had finals today. This is Chestnut. website describes it as a nude and I think if you are a lighter skin tone you may not see this fit as a nude it might be more bold 
but for me it is definitely one of those nudes where it's it's a bold lip but it mutes out my lips like it okay so i don't know why it cut out on me but we were talking about chestnut and here it is swatched and i was saying that it was a completely um like nude color on me you can't even because of the you can't even see the lipstick hardly the lipstick is right here the lip gloss is a lot glossier so it shows up really dark but you can't even see the lipstick really it's right here that's how well it matches my skin tone so for me i do consider this a nude um on the lips it is a lot darker but it almost i swatch it again to give it a little darker you can kind of see it right there on the lips it will look a lot darker more like this but I feel that for me it mutes out my lips and I love that. So also again, um, this they have a lip liner that is permanent, which is what they base those that lip lip gloss and um, lipstick off of, which are both permanent. The lipstick is permanent as well. I mean, limited edition. Excuse me. So I just had to get the liner because. I don't have too many liners, and I figured, what the heck. And that is the Chestnut Liner, which, again, is not being launched with the collection, but it is permanent, and it's what those two are based off of. And before I go on to my next two, I'm just going to say that I swatched, not swatched, um, I, I have this color on my nails right now. To me, this looks a lot like Saint Germain, Snob, or Pink Nouveau. I wanted one of those, but I figured those are easily dupable. For $16, there's just no point unless you just really want it. And um, I already showed you the Girl About Me. I already showed you the Rebel and how it does not match very well. We just swatched um, Spice and Chestnut. So I'm going to take a second to show you those nail polish swatches. That is chestnut on my nail. And I applied three coats. And to be quite honest, you can see it in person. But, I mean, you have to be really staring at somebody's nail to see that color. It's really pretty. But I don't wear nude. I mean, if you wear nude polishes, then it's really pretty. It has the same rosy undertones as the lipstick. But I don't, so I didn't get it. And chestnut. Yes, these. I mean, guys, I'm not, you know, sitting. I didn't purchase these, so these aren't the best nail swatches. I just kind of threw it on there to see while I was in the store. But that is the chestnut. And I think that chestnut is really pretty, and it matches really well with the lipstick and lip gloss. But on my skin tone, it just almost looks a little redundant, like, if you know what I mean. Just, I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> um, the last two are my absolute favorites. Oh, I mixed them up over here. Okay. Girl About Town. Now, this one... This is a pretty color, y'all. If you don't want to have Girl About Town, go get it. I don't care what complexion you are. I don't care if you think it won't work for you. If you do not have Girl About Town, you need to run and get that. This is the prettiest pink I've ever seen. And again, Girl About Town. If my camera doesn't focus, I apologize. Um, I don't do too many of, of these. I will, I do, but I haven't done it in a long time, so I'm not quite technically savvy with my camera just yet and I do feel that Girl About Town lip glass goes really well with the lipstick that's Girl About Town right there and it is so pretty and so bright but not too overwhelming and I also had to had to had to get the nail lacquer so that's the Girl About Town nail lacquer. And I have a swatch of the nail polish on my nail. That is my swatch of Girl About Town. It's actually a lot more vibrant 
in person than it's showing up on this camera. And you can see how opaque it is compared to my nail. And these are all, this is just one swatch. I mean, you can see through it, but like, like I said, this is just one swatch. Like, I didn't sit there and try to put it on in the store. Love, love, love Girl of All Town. If you don't have that, you need to go get it. If you don't have spice, you need to go get it. Um, last but not least, Russian Red, which is a new for me. I have not even put this on my lips, y'all, um, out this tube. I did swatch it out in the store. Russian Red. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so, um, my camera tube's cutting up on me for whatever reason, but we were on Russian Red, which I already showed the swatch of for the lipstick. Ooh, I'm showing you all types of stuff. Russian Red, and gloss, which I am so excited about. I love reds, but I, I have Ruby Woo, which is not coming out. It is permanent, but it's not coming out with this collection. I have Ruby Woo, and let me tell you, that lipstick is so drying, so drying, it's ridiculous. And along with that, I got the nail lacquer, simply because it's a classic red, I had to. Here is um, the Russian Red Polish, which is very true to the color you see in the bottle, and the gloss, so, again, Russian Red, Lipstick and Lip Gloss, here are all the swatches, Chestnut, Spice, um, Pink Nouveau up here at the top, St. Germain, Rebel, Russian Red, Girl About Town, and again for the nail swatches, Russian Red, um, Rebel, Chestnut, Spice, and Girl About Town. And again, um, the nail swatches are not very professional looking. I was just in the store and figured, since I'm doing this video anyways, I might as well show you because they're already on all my nails. So, um, and just a quick little tidbit. Um, I probably will do... Uh, comparison between Russian Red and Ruby Woo because there really is a difference and that's why I decided to go ahead and get that and on another note if you don't really want to spend the $16 for the nail polishes but want the matching lip um, nail lacquers I discovered that this color goes really well with the Rebel that actually appears on your lips see in the tube it doesn't look exactly so matchy matchy but this is more of what Rebel looks like on the lips, a burgundy color. And I got this for $8. It's OPI number um, NLE49. And it's called Manicurist of Seville. So, um, again, I'll leave this in the description box. Because I'm sure these words are small. But I found that if you want something cheaper, if you don't want to go for the MAC $16 nail polish, this is half the price for $8. It might even be a little cheaper. Um, this works really well with Rebel. And I found that this really works well with Rebel um, if you apply a heavier coat. Because even still, I mean, I, I applied the, the Rebel and it just... I can't get it to match. So, again, if you apply a heavier coat of this, um, this is also a good match. This is number NL143 or I43, um, Black Cherry Chutney. And again, OPI, $8. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, and again, I'll leave this in the description bar. And one little side note, um, this color is not coming out with the collection, but it is permanent. And I feel that, you know, if you want to match it and you have this color too, this is Cyber. This is not coming out with the collection, but it is permanent. Uh, 
don't know if it'll focus. But that's cyber. And this looks really well. You can see how perfectly that matches. Um, I'm not going to swatch that because, like I said, it's not coming out of the collection. If you want a review, if you want like an, indiv ooh, like an individual review on some of these colors um, that I mentioned, then I will do that with swatches and lip swatches and all that. But I figure it's all over the web, so I really don't need to do that unless you particularly want to see that. Um, that's all I got from the collection, and I got Pink Nouveau and Mirage coming in. Um, that'll be great for the summer. Again, the swatches. And if you want to know how I did this lip, just let me know. It's really, really simple, and it's using all pretty much of the permanent um, colors, except for one, which is a new lip gloss, Saint Germain. This is Pink Nouveau, Saint Germain, and Night Moth. Um, thanks for checking out my video, and I'll see you next time for Hey Sailor. Bye.